Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. So the first question is, what is sonar key? Okay, and this is the first question. So when I look at the sonar cube, I've been working with sonar cube from last, uh, I would say 15 plus years. And when I look at it, uh, sonar cube, I see sonar cube is a quality, that's a one keyword management platform okay you can say quality management tool so now next questions you will have okay managing is okay tool is okay but when i say quality means what 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 what, what quality so here you have code quality okay and then we have a test quality okay. this is the Two quality. Good quality has been managed by SonarQ. Test quality has been managed by SonarQ. Now, when I say good quality, then what do you understand? So, if you remember that after the coding, in this cycle, we have a, a code analysis, right? Correct. So, we have a code analysis, and how do we do the code analysis? Anyone have idea? How do we do the code analysis? Anyone? Hello? No. So we do that code analysis using peer code review. Peer code review means uh, I write a code, you are my senior, you will review the code manually. That was peer code review. And second, which is is very important and that is called static code review static code review anyone have idea what is a static code review no okay so static code review is basically i'll put it in a very very simple way so you can understand this Static code review means code would review code. Did you understand that? Are you? No, no. Code. No. Code would review code. Very simple statement. Read one more time. See that if you can understand. See here. How do we code analysis? Peers means we understand. Human are involved in it in this review. Static code, code review. Code would review code. Very simple statement. Read one more time. Okay, okay. So there is a there is a code which I write and you wrote one code to review my code. Okay. Your code will do what? your code will do i'll just give you a very dumb example your code will check my code and okay. whether i have you whether i have used comments in my code or not that's one of the best practices yeah. your code will review my code whether in my code there is a token embedded or not bad security practices your code will review my code where passwords are embedded or not your code will review my code where I have used some logic, let's say for loop and while loop, which is not, which will consume more memory bugs in the software. Are you understanding this, this process? Okay. So code in this static code review, because you know, peers code review never works. 
very effectively in the most of the team. Why? Because uh, you, let's say you're my senior, you have your own assignments, you get busy. This get missed out. And maybe you are not well capable. Sorry. So maybe you are not well capable to do all sort of reviews because you may not know. So how do I get my review done? So that's where the code would review code. Now, can I call this rule in this software engineering world? There's a rule which would, would review code. Can I call it? One rule is not required. We require multiple rules, actually hundreds of rules, because one rule will check only one thing. So I need hundreds of rules to review the code. Can I call it this one? So can I call this all these rules together as like a tools with rule? Tool would review the code. Are you comfortable with this this growth? What we use in this software industry? We have a static code review tool, which would review the code and give you the reports and the reports will have contents of what is the problem in your code. There is a different, different types of code, static code review tool. Are you understanding what is static code review? All of you. Okay. So is it something related to SAST static application security testing? Is it same or different? Yeah, concept? some no, it's a, something similar. Okay. SAST we call it SAST. Make sense? So now if I say, hey, using Sonar Cube, you are managing what quality? What quality? Code quality. How do you get it from static code review? And static code review understand. Now let me go to the Google and search for static code review tools, enter and then trust wiki here. And you see that hundreds of tools as per the language we have. Let's look at the Java. See hundreds of tools we have. Below are also some. So check style, eclipse, find bugs. These are the tool which is most of these are open source by the way, except these two. I think this one also is a very good. So there's so many tools, hundreds of tools are there which will do the static code analysis and then will review share the reports and that reports will be managed by Sonar. Are you understanding? All of you yes yeah. okay now next thing which you may ask what is a test quality anyone have idea what is a test quality see in the software left development life cycle what we do first we do the planning then we do the coding then we do analysis so right now we are at this page we are learning one tool for it last uh, sessions uh, probably uh, what was that for coding i taught you something right git right and uh, for git and python correct git and python now i'm teaching you how to analyze so here how do you plan your software in jenkins no sorry sorry uh, in in which tool we use for the planning i forgot anyone Yeah. Yeah, Ujira. and one Ujira. more one one more tool I might have covered. Anyone remember that? Jira and confluence. Yes, Jira and confluence. So we use that tool and then you got a planning done, and then started the coding using GitHub, some Python, some editor and all. Then analyze analyze the code. After that, I'll teach you how to build that uh, code. After that, I'll teach you UT unit testing. After that, I'll teach you how to package the software. After that, I'll teach you how to archive the software. 
After that, I'll teach you how to deploy to QA server. After that, I'll teach you how to accept and testing, how to perform accept and testing. And after that, I'll teach you code coverage. And this code coverage is the last process in the pre-production. Then I'll cover some production tools also. So CC test quality, code coverage test quality. Make sense? So this test quality that means how Sonar Q manages the test quality in the CC I teach. Make sense, right? Code coverage process. Are you comfortable? Hello. So you now cover after analysis, it's a build or we'll go to CC. Which I one? That. Which so one? You said plan, code, and analysis we are doing now. Hmm. And is it CC will be covered in this test quality or analysis we are doing? Right. So this will be covered then CC last okay okay so this is something which we have so here what is a test quality we'll understand in the cc but code quality you understood correct so guys uh sonatq is a quality management tool uh, now they have a uh, primarily multiple pages so one release we call it a community release which i'm teaching you then we have a developer release then we have enterprise release i don't know why they have made it so many releases actually so sonar q download okay so they have multiple feature now you may be having curiosity what is the difference so you see that here this is the difference community developer enterprise data center and the difference are here Okay, so I think uh, not important right now to know the difference because first you learn the community and then you see that how can you see uh, additions on top of the community additions in a developer and then enterprise nothing nice more or less reporting features which you have uh, which is needed by the managers or architect. Okay, so now this is the uh multiple villages which we have now you know what this tool is developed using java when i say java then what exactly you can get answers tell me when any tool is developed in java that means what all of you Hello. Am I audible, right? Yeah. So the programming language used to develop this tool is Java. Hmm. That means. Uh, uh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I just the came. Compiler language. No. Hello. See, any tool is uh, developed any in program in. Any program written in Java? Yeah. Uh, see, when a, any tool is developed in Java, so something you have to immediately make out of it, always. If it in Java, Java is a platform independent. That means you can run SonarQ on Windows, Linux, Mac. Simple. You need a JRE Java to run the software. Simple logic. So yes, they have developed in Java. That means, you know, this you can install in Windows also, Linux also, and Mac also. The latest version is 9.x. So if you go to this here, you will see the version. So this is the latest release. Okay, so now you understood that we use SonarQ for managing the quality, code quality primarily different releases developed in java and so on okay so now let's move on to the next part of it and why do we need it i will not answer this question because you know that
code is a very important part in the software and when quality code is the most important and you know what 90% of the issues in the product if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching